All right, no need to adjust your televisions. That is indeed uh, the sun that we're seeing right now off in Graham Forks as we have endured yet another uh, blizzard. Areas of heavy snow that exceeded one foot and drifts that uh, exceeded 10 feet. As we talked about in the story, our plow drivers uh, taking care of that for us and thanks to them. Now take a look at this. We've asked you for measurements of snow. This is Ozzy, the Arctic cat, getting involved in that. And Ozzy says in Jamestown on Mount Dakota, they're calling it. It's too deep inches, Hutch. Too deep. I agree, Ozzy. That's way too deep. Angela, thanks for your photo of Ozzy, the Arctic cat, 29 now in the uh, Fargo area. North wind, only six miles per hour, and it's a bearable evening tonight, even though we are way, way below average temperatures. Um, most of us between 25 and 30. Sunshine aplenty here in eastern and central North Dakota and in northwest Minnesota. We have a few clouds and wouldn't be surprised if some of you are actually seeing a flurry from time to time. Same thing, skirting along the South Dakota border. Little weather maker out to the west is going to work its way towards us by morning, but notice it isn't anything that looks too big or threatening right now. Severe weather here and there across the mid Atlantic and into the Gulf Coast states. Here's that all important forecast for tonight. Fairly quiet for the early overnight, but rapidly falling temperatures down into the single digits for some of us. And here it comes. That little weather hiccup becomes a little bit more of a hiccup. Check this out. We got some dark blues. We got some whites in here, so some locally moderate to heavy be snowfall possible between Highway 2 and Interstate 94 the way it looks. This is paused at 730 in the morning. So in the western part of this area, it will have been snowing a little longer. Some greasy roads reestablished there. Temperatures in the teens mean a fluffy, flyy snowflake that, well, we'll have to contend with on morning roads in Fargo. This shifts off to the east as we go through mid morning. And by the midday, it should still be snowing along the Highway 200 and Highway 2 corridors out towards the Bemidji area. But then it's out of here in the early afternoon, breaking clouds, temperatures a little better than today. We're going in the right direction and the wind subsides a little bit for your Friday night plans. And again, we can't blame Frankie for the weather. Hutch was just trying to pull a fast one on you there, Frankie. 10 degrees to start your day in Fargo. Then after the flakes fly and skedaddle, we're going to see temperatures ramp up into the mid 30s. Wind not too bad from the east or east southeast through the day. Maybe a little stronger in the far southern counties as you see the arrows there. Most of us near 30, a little better than 30 for some. That has Zeke ready to go scratches back on a snowbank there. Thanks so much, Caitlin, for sharing your follies with Zeke. All right. The weekend holiday for you Easter uh, folks with travel plans. Nothing to really be concerned about temperatures in the 40s, maybe a little breezy and the warm up just continues. And as we talked about in first weather, we're not going to uh, crack the 50 degree nut in many locations and look at these temperatures stay though in the 40s to near 50 throughout the next several days. And as we get into the latter part of the week, we're above freezing overnight. That means the melt will be ongoing 24 seven, and that means our riv rivers will start to rise. Now we have gotten word from the National Weather Service on their latest forecast. I'll have updates for you tonight on that at 10, but suffice it to say a top 10 flood is expected for some areas. We'll spell that all out tonight in our later. We'll be shifting gears quickly, but the, the temperatures will feel pretty nice outside. They will. Yes. Thanks. Thanks so Still ahead on Valley News Live at 6, see how our winter storm this week is impacting the trucking industry. We hear from those who were stranded 